Hey guys, welcome back. This is Jenny from Polly's Paper Studio and today I have a very fun and festive Christmas greeting card for you using some chipboard pieces from Gypsy Soul Laser Cuts. I'll leave links in the description below for Gypsy Soul Laser Cuts. You can check out these products. So I have altered this skate and some petal corners and snowflakes and added them to a fabulous plaid. You know how I love my plaids. Um, and trims from really reasonable ribbon to complete this card. So let's make this together. So this is a standard size card base I'm starting with, and I finished the inside with the papers that coordinate with the cover and left a small section for a sentiment to be added. So now we can begin to work on the front. I've just matted a piece of white card stock with a little bit of black using about an eighth of an inch border because I want to begin to build up those layers and I'm adding that with double-sided adhesive tape. The next layer is a silvery card stock and I generally do not cut the middle out but I did not want to lose the rest of it so that I can use it to cut die cuts so I'm just going to add to that as well okay so now I've got the silver section in and I'm going to come back in with more of that black card stock what I want to do is um, add this with foam because I want to start building the dimension so I'm going to just go in with my Tombow Mono Multi Wet Adhesive and get that stuck down right in the middle. This one will be easier to center because it's more stable. And that's just giving me a nice little border of that glittery silver. Now I want to bring in the first pattern paper. This is from the nostalgia collection from authentique and i just love that holly pattern so i'm going to use that as the background in my focal image which will be coming shortly so most of this is not going to show but i still want to get that on square now for the top which is more dimensional i've added some foam adhesive between the layers here and I've cut that plaid. This is a pretty buffalo check with red and I've used an oval die to cut out the center so that I could have a nice focal point in the middle and bring in more dimension. So I'm just lining that up with the pattern paper on the bottom. And that is giving me a nice center to add my chipboard. So this is the ice skate that I've got from Gypsy Soul Laser Cuts. I have altered this and it will be a step-by-step -step tutorial on my blog tomorrow. That will be Sunday the fourth so you can see how it went from just plain chipboard to a finished piece and I've got it on some spacers here and lacing as well so that it will be a nice accent for the center of my card so I'm just going to add this slightly higher than the middle and slightly to the left because I know the flower arrangement is going to take up a fair bit of the bottom of that card. So now that I've got that added, I'm going to bring in the next element, which is petal corners. I've got these finished in just a flat white acrylic paint, and I'm going to tack these in all the way around using my Tombow multi-adhesive again. And when I get that done, I'll be right back. Okay, a few more details will finish this card. I've got a poofy bow here tied with um, a second bow of red twine and some tiny jingle bells and then a tiny little skate charm added. And I want that to go right here at the top. And first, I'll tuck in a sweet little die cut of holly leaves that I have topped with some glitter. And for those of you watching, I am putting plaid on plaid because there is never enough plaid in Christmas. All right, there is a sweet little bow with a charm. Okay, so for the last element, I'm gonna add this 
arrangement that I've created with a poinsettia that I created with my um, cinch and go die. I've got some more of those holly leaves. There are snowflakes here from Gypsy Soul Laser Cuts. These are from the snowflake shape set in the large size and then more of the twine bows. I finished the center of my poinsettia with some prills and I think it looks very festive and I've got that worked just so that it will hug the corner and not disguise too much of that skate but also not um, run off the edge. So I'm just going to add that with some hot glue. And that is it for my winter ice skate Christmas greeting card made with chipboard from Gypsy Soul Laser Cuts. I have some trims from Really Reasonable Ribbon and some flowers made by me. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. If you're not already, I would love for you to subscribe. And as always, I'm wishing you a happy and productive day and I thank you so much for watching. Bye!